Hi everyone, Edwin here. Welcome back to my video. Now today, I'm going to discuss with you the 10 things that you shouldn't do online. Welcome back to the video. I know that you use social media every single day and you post regularly every few hours or at least once a day. There are 10 things that you shouldn't do online. Let's find out now. Number one, don't post any pictures of your marriage. I know you have a happy marriage, but try not to post it on social media. The reason I say so is because you will attract unwanted attention, maybe from your ex-husband or your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. The last thing you want is they leaving unwanted comment. Things that happened in the past that they bring up to discuss or they bring up onto the social media. So try not to post it. Now number two, do not post family photos onto social media. I know you post a lot of pictures on food, outings and uh, events. Yes, yeah, you can post it but try your best not to post any family photos because there's a lot of hackers around, people around that's harvesting information and they want to know who is linked to you. especially your family members. The last thing we want is to get unwanted attention from people that are trying to scam you or your loved ones. Now number three, do not discuss anything private on the public social media like Facebook or Instagram and let the whole world know what exactly happening because you do not know who is exactly online reading what you are discussing and they might be capturing this information and to blackmail you or they could be using this information for marketing purpose. So try your best not to review too much information online. If you wish, you can send private text, but not publicly discuss on social media. Now, number four, do not befriend anyone that adds you on social media. For example, you get a lot of people that add you on Facebook. It doesn't matter be it that you're beautiful or you're ugly, definitely you will get people adding you on your profile. If you're doing this in your business profile, it's perfectly fine, but I would suggest do selective ad friends do not add anyone now i do not add friends that do not have a face do not have a background join facebook just three days or don't even post any single thing and i've never met them before the reason is because i do not want unwanted attention at the same time i do not want unwanted information and later part deleting all these people that doesn't contribute or doesn't engage with me now next time when someone adds you make sure that you check their profile check do they actually have common or mutual friends with you? Uh, if they do, you might want to check out your common friends. Why do they add this person in the first place? Before adding this person into your business or your personal, especially your personal profile. Now, number five, do not store password online or on any online clouds that people talk about. Is it safe or this? Now, there is always people trying to hack the system. So if someone is able to hack the bank, what about hacking your information and selling it to someone else? And at the same time, if the password is very important and allows a person to gain access to a lot of uh, your information, then you will be at risk. So try your best not to store any information online, especially password, personal security, credit card information. Protect yourself so that you will not get scammed by others. Now number six, do not transfer money online to anyone you've ever met. Do not. Because I personally have made this mistake before by sending money to someone I've never met. That was back in the years like 15 years ago. I bought a course online and uh, it was through the phone and I actually need to make a payment through the online payment system to a company. And this company actually will teach me online via the phone how to do SEO. And after three to four weeks, they just disappeared. Even though I did get something out of it, but it's kind of scammy uh, because you do not know this person, never seen this person before, you know how big is this company and you do not know whether they are the real expert or not. So never, never try or never pay someone online, especially if it's a big amount of money, do not do not pay them because there's a lot of scammer. And number seven, do not tell people about your pregnancy on social media. You never know what people are going to do with the photos that you put up and you never know uh, what they're going to do with it. How are they going to take action? because they could calculate how many months down the road you're going to have a baby, you know? So someone could be plotting something. So these are all the possibilities that you would want to consider before posting on the social media, especially on your pregnancy. And number eight, a lot of parents like to post about their child's achievement online. Uh, this posting of uh, their kids' achievement, what do they achieve, uh, how are they, especially their birthdays, a lot of uh, parents like to post all this information online. So all this information online, eventually will be captured 
let's say be it uh, in the database in the physical form in the picture form and all this information will be collected as data and all this data can be resell resell to companies that have things to sell to your kids a kids program and you'll find that especially if your parents you find that there's a lot of uh, programs for your kids that's following you around this is called retargeting they retarget parents everywhere you go trying to offer you a course a new way of learning anything that can help your child to improve his learning experience so all this information in the first place you are the one that's posting onto the social media a lot of company is actually watching especially your parent what do you post about your kids how are they where do they study and how long uh, have they been studying are they going to graduate soon so all this information to a consumer to anyone that's common uh, they will not find that there's uh, important information uh, they can just post it to anyone to see but however this information if someone really want to use it they could use it for other purpose which you never know what they're going to do with it so always be careful and number 10 is never share any checks information that you receive any money that you receive uh, try not to post it anywhere on social media especially a check if you do not know how to handle the check even with the check and serial number someone can actually cash in your check try your best not to post any information on money received be it like transaction be it like uh, sometimes you buy things online you post a transaction slip to let someone know and actually somewhat you reveal more information that you should like your bank account how much balance you have all this so try your best not to post anything related to money online now hope that with these 10 things that we discuss about you already understand that the online is not as safe as you think. Now try your best to keep you and your family members safe. So if you like this video or find that this video can help someone, do share, like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.